What's up guys, Dan the Soul Man here. Today I've got a pair of Skate High reissues. And um, I don't know if you guys watched the video, I'll put a link to that in the comments below. But I just recently did a video for the Zio Zeigler Off the Wall Gallery Authentics. Uh, and I really like those. I thought that the print and the color uh, on those is really cool. Um, but it came in a pack and there was a slip-on and there was a Skate High reissue which I kind of, I don't know, I was on the fence about it. I think I mentioned this in the video for the Authentic, but something about it just was kind of like, eh. So <laughs> I decided to go ahead and just buy them. <laughs> I know, I've got a problem. Um, but I really, I just wanted to get a closer look at them because they don't have them in the store. They were online only. So the only way to uh, get a close look at them was to actually purchase them. So here they are. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Maybe, maybe not, but... I think that the side stripe on skate highs and old schools is probably one of the most important parts of those shoes. I think that it's such an iconic, um, such an iconic piece of that shoe. Um, so that's why I get kind of mad whenever a skate high or an old school just kind of deletes the side stripe and goes with just stitching or doesn't even do that. It kind of pisses me off because I feel like that's one of the coolest parts of those shoes. So whenever they you know, do something special with the side strap, it, it excites me, um, as per the Bones side strap on the Blends collaborations, or different fabrics, um, so that's why I was really intrigued by these, because of the fact that, as you can see here, the side strap has been done up in that same uh, print, printed canvas that the Authentics were done in. Uh, but other than that, I'm kind of not really feeling them, actually. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's take a closer look. I'll let you guys know what I, what I like and what I don't like. Um, so, like I said, the side stripe and actually the heel counter is done up in that same printed canvas that the Authentic was done up in. And I think it's really cool. Just like the Authentic, all of the, the pieces of the shoe have different portions of that print, so it's all a little different. <clears throat> Cool concept. I mean, I don't think I've seen a printed side strap like this um, at all. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can't recall of any any skate high or old school like with a printed uh, side strap like this. So very cool, in my opinion. Um, and that's really what intrigued me about these shoes. I think I said that. Um, what I don't like about this shoe actually is the rest of the, of the shoe. Um, <coughs> I think it's too busy. I think that. I see what they were trying to do here, going with that tonal print on the rest of the shoe. Um, but it's still too busy in my opinion. I feel maybe they should have done with a solid, lighter khaki tan color for the rest of the shoe. Maybe a darker brown. You know, anything else. Just a solid color, I think, would have allowed for this heel counter and side strap to really pop and be the focal point of the shoe. <clears throat> so... That's kind of where I'm at with this shoe. Um, I might not keep them, but who knows? Maybe I'll find something to do with them. The entire shoe is made up of canvas. Um, typical of canvas skate highs, I think. We've got no perforations on the toe box here. We've got that uh, reissue eye stay with some nice kind of uh, brownish, coppery colored eyelets. And then they decided for some reason to throw in these hiker boot laces. I'm, I, I'm like really not a fan of these laces. Um, I know that a lot of shoot they try to throw these into a lot of collaborations. I think, and it just, it's just forced in my opinion. <clears throat> uh, but I did go ahead and throw in some white laces if that's your thing. So, you know, that's cool. I think black would actually look really good with this. But again, my opinion. And I've got plenty of black laces I can try it out if I uh, decide to do so. Uh, canvas here on the side, heel, everywhere else, all canvas. And uh, just like the this color print here, the tonal khaki or tan print is also different on each shoe. So it's not, uh, you can't really tell because, I mean, you can't really see the detail on it too much. But it is different. So that's cool. <clears throat> the inside of the shoe, uh, we've got that vinyl that they use on the GRs, which is a uh, pretty plasticky feeling. Um, nothing special there. 
Vans Zio Zeigler here on the heel. And then we've got a nice little tongue label here. Vans Off the Wall Gallery with uh, Vans ZZ on the reverse. <clears throat> the midsole of the shoe is a white midsole, no foxing stripe, all white all around. And a black and white Vans Off the Wall heel tab here with a gum waffle outsole. So nothing really special down there. Yeah, so <clears throat> let me know what you guys think of these shoes in the comments, you know, if you if you want. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm not feeling too much, so, you know, that's where I'm at with them. Um, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, to check out more of my upcoming videos. And that's it for today, guys. I will see you next time.